Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and I'm your host today and today's video will cover the disruption of Model Y in the SFU section. We will look into the Model 3 and we will look into the expanding insurance that Tesla is offering, how they expand in the United States and I have some really great news from the Cybertruck guys and if you subscribe my channel you give me support for my work and i hope you follow me for my daily updates now guys so let's dive into today's video guys first of all the model 3 beats the renault zoe in france in france guys and the peugeot e 208 is still in the first spot so tesla has um, sold uh, 1166 model 3s in france and is beating with that the renault a french company guys in france that is i mean guys i'm not i'm i'm speechless you know and tesla is not even building any cars or manufacturing any cars in europe so this is really really good news and going into the biggest news i think is the cybertruck here so um, I have prepared some pictures for you and designs for you so you can have a look on it. So Elon had an interaction with a Twitter user who asked if he if there's a possibility to charge the um, yeah tiny house when you have it in the back of the truck hanging and if you're going camping and Tesla CEO Elon Musk mentioned yes you can do that and I have some pictures here for you that is the first design that you can find online and there's also a second one which is also possible but there is so much happening when it comes to the imagination of how such a camping of with a Cybertruck could look like but it, it looks pretty clear that Tesla is um, looking even further, not just building a Cybertruck, but further expanding products around the Cybertruck itself. So making a camping style way makes a lot of sense. If I'm um, not wrong, a lot of people in the United States buy big camping buses even, and they live in them and they don't have a house. They are living with them. They are traveling with them. They want to be independent. And of course the Cybertruck and then a camping um, van or anything like that in the back um, might not be as big, but still it is quite interesting to do that. It would be a unique selling point having an electric truck and at the same time um, camping or tiny houses in that way. And the tiny house movement um, is pretty popular under uh, young people um, as well in Europe. So that would make actually a lot of sense. Um, so let me know if you would buy a Cybertruck if you know you could go camping with it or if you would also uh, just buy a Cybertruck without having the possibility to do camping. But I find that really, really interesting. I find it really important that Tesla goes towards that goal because a lot of people, the camping industry has been growing. It is It grew a lot in the European Union, especially in um, Germany as well. A lot of people go camping. And of course, it will take a lot of time till this product will actually come to Europe, especially with the size issue for the Cybertruck here in the European Union. But again, let me know what your thought is. I find it a really good idea. And the nice thing was as well in this interaction, the question was if the Cybertruck could charge the um, tiny house so cover for the electricity and all that and um, Elon Musk said yes it is possible and um, this means there must be such a good battery inside if you want to charge the electricity of your home but that would be um, really amazing and let's wait for Q2 because Elon Musk has said there will be further updates on the Cybertruck in Q2, maybe even at the end of Q1 when it comes to the earnings call. So let's wait for that. Now diving into the Tesla Model Y disruption. Yes, there is a disruption happening and I know that there are a lot of German companies like Wolfgang, Audi, BMW, etc, etc. And they have made so much money in China with the SUV and luxury segment. And what they see right now is especially with Volkswagen that the Model Y is slowly picking up the ranks 
and is kind of eating away exactly in that market where the um, SUV market of the German company is happening and the Chinese customers love these big nice German cars but they seem to love the Model Y as well as we all know so I think there is a disruption happening in China right now and I'm really excited to see what's actually gonna happen in Europe because a lot of people like to drive a SUV that is kind of like a shift that happened over the past years it wasn't always like that but a lot of people like SUVs like bigger family cars and the BMW, Volkswagen, Audi especially as well are famous to um, get people um, to pay a lot of money for SUVs and so I think there's a lot of potential in the future for Tesla to disrupt this market and especially as they will start with the Model Y in Giga Berlin very soon um, I'm expecting that in one year we might see certain numbers of the Model Y that are catching up already to some of the competitors when it comes to the SUV men, um, segment so again guys what I find shocking is that the Model 3 is actually beating um, the Renault Zoe in France itself and even though they are not only exporting the Model 3 from China right now so this is shocking to be honest with you. So the Model Y I do expect to be disrupting the European SUV market in the next few years it just depends how fast they can ramp up the Giga Berlin. When looking into Giga Austin in the background you see there are a lot of materials a lot of um, things already being moved inside um, it is looking s so fast right now um, I have the feeling that it's really picking up speed maybe I'm wrong let me know if you think it's not like that or you, you agree with me but I have the feeling the speed is really speed it's really speeding up here now how they are working and um, it's really exciting to see that they are moving a lot of stuff already inside the buildings even though they are not even closed at the at the sides yet so for the last news guys the insurance yes we I have covered the insurance section for Tesla um, already a few times but it I find it's really um, yeah not a lot of people take attention to that so uh, two years ago in 2019 when um, e Elon Musk announced that they will have their own insurance he stated that at some point 30 to 40 percent of the car business could be represent, uh, represented by um, the insurance business and all the insurance is in, in the world it doesn't matter if it's in the United States or Europe really fight for all these customers buying cars and they fight each other to be the best insurance and best prices etc etc and now for the first time a car company decides to make itself an uh, insurance company and could with that really disrupt the insurance company business um, because Tesla has all the data all the information and what they do right now is they have sent applications to expand um, to Illinois to Texas and to Washington and this is just a few signs how they will uh, slowly take away um, a pie of the entire insurance business they are currently already roll, um, they have rolled out already the insurance business in California but till today we have no real data yet um, if you have seen any data in the income statements please let me know um, my, I might have overseen that but um, we have not had a real topic about the insurance income yet guys if you do enjoy my videos if you like my content guys please do subscribe and have a wonderful weekend